I do th this will be a lot better. Well, this is going to be much better than the last one. I apologize, the last two streams were not up to snuff. This one. Alright, let's start. Everybody's got the rapture. I do apologize for the last two streams. We're not up to snuff. I do apologize. But let's play this game. Uh, I promise I won't quit as early. This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area.
do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, okay, can we just talk about this? No. Mm. See, then I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. Okay. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah. I know that. Come on, let's get started. that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Balton wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. But it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle, in Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Barb, and I'll personally deliver it for you, once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Barb. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Fucking headache all of a sudden. Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Hello, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! Fuck. 
about. So hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. <sighs> Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of high school, <laughs> seeing Mars for the first time, that same rush of excitement. <laughs> My hands are shaking. It's crazy.
What? This is Brojo. One. I keep looking, but it makes no sense. The area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of it the is creepy, light dude. in that part of the sky. It's overexposed. <laughs> like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. It is very creepy. Everybody's gone except you. I can't go any faster. <laughs> Screw your chat, Proto, don't worry. You know, they uh, see me as an outsider here as well. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? You know, I understand it's difficult, that's all I'm saying. Your lot up at Vallis have never mixed with the local community. People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Lovely day. Oh, hello. Uh, Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next. Good morning, Barbara. Father Wheeler. Oh, Wheeler. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. If they just stay out of my way. <laughs> oh, it's all this then. Alright. Let's go up the road. <laughs> Some blood. <laughs> Freaky deaky. You'd left town. We tried. We did try. But they've closed all the roads and you can't get through. And and then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches. And then they started bleeding. And... It was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around and, um, and we saw the house was open and I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids, and... And then Neil and I started bleeding as well, and... It is all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired, and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed, and... You know, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind the only children, and... And I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. He never came back down. He's <laughs> been too frightened to go along. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. That, yes. Will you please help me? Of course I'll help you. Neil? Neil, are you there? Well, here we go.
I can't walk any faster if you ever want to know. I don't know what that says over there. It's probably a bug. Oh, I don't know what happened. Thank you for being with me on this slow journey. <laughs> Right, it's six something. So there's something it's six oh five, six oh six. So this state is taking place in the 80s. I wish I could go faster, but I can't. One, eight, two, five, I'm not seeing here for that. Zero, I'm gonna try one more time on the stairs. Something happened here. I'm just not sure what. Yep, can't go anywhere. Okay. Let's walk through the garden. Right, to the greenhouse. Minecraft Mondays, though. That'd be a little bit less creepy. The other two streams will be unlisted. They're not going to be deleted. Like, like so right now on Shepherd's Walk. Alright. So we've been there before. I'm not going to shift my steps. I saw, you, I saw you doing that. Go away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. Right, Sam, stop it. Weedy little shit. Give it's mine. Give me the can. Give me the can. Give me the can. Give me starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ! <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Do not attempt to leave you behind. Leave. You will be tonight. Not attempt to tell funny outside your local area. I should 
by the district emergency measures committee. Everyone's welcome tomorrow night at 10 a.m. Flu quarantine on Meg or Barb if you have questions, okay. What's going on here? <laughs> Everything all right? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! 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 I'm not more, even more freaked out. What is going on here? Hey, look at that. What physics? Yeah. Looks like we gotta keep walking.
What is going on? Meg, come and have a look at this. Oh, I don't believe it. Charlie? Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? Oh, it looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard. Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. we better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. Uh, I reckon he is. He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. Frank, there's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. What happened here? Something happened. I'm not sure what. I'm not gonna make any jokes about it because. Confused. Right, let's go to the next house. <laughs> Wait, what's all this then? Okay, wish I could jump, I can't. Gotta go all the way around. <laughs>
Are you there? Can you hear me? Are, are you out there, you bastard? You got them all? Uh, you got them all? Christ, help me, O oh Lord. Give me strength. Hello? Hello, is, is anyone there? Is anyone still there? Oh, oh. You are still here then. I should have expected that. Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. Their line has gone out through all the earth. And their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
You look ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. My Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bout has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. Close to home.
away, Amanda. Oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu that's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father, I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Observatory has set itself to 607 and 6th, 1984. I don't understand what that means. I'm not playing the whole game, I'm just going to go through and we're, we're done with Wendy and then we'll be hitting off for a bit. I'm just going to explore a little bit. I think I wish you could do in this game was jump, but you can't. substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here? Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got to order a strike. <laughs> what? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen, I said it's contained. <laughs>
Hello, Frank Appleton. Break a lost cowboy, this is traveling Sherlock. You copy over. You damn bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You take this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You'll be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff, and you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a pint. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. Oh, no, I'll argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Oh, there we go. Harvey! 
Harvey, come on, boy. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey. Harvey. Thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <sighs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, you go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Wendy, I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? <sighs> one drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink, wonderful. Wendy, you catch your death. They're all dead, Father. All of my birds. Here. Take my jacket. I tried to be a good woman. A Christian woman. But I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. It's what Eddie would have done. Yes. I suppose it is. I'll say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter now. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. I'm sure when the sun comes up, everything will seem better. The soundtrack is beautiful.
Howard, what's happened? Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh, Christ. Is that... Bloody idiot. <laughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? What happened? sure what happened. I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They take my shoes, sir. Howard? Howard Lantham! You open the door this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. <sighs> now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said we couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Something has happened. I just noticed the birds. Fancy seeing you here. Oh. Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just... Robert. <laughs> that man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mithering old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it, I know. But she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? 
There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't look at me like that. What they do up there, it's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her. And I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about taping over your music, but we, that is your dad and I, in case you come home, I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Bob's. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel. Are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we ain't got time for this. The bloody car won't start. We're going to have to walk. Sam, shush, it's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting together at the hall. Rachel's at the camp. She'll be fine. Rachel, darling, anyway, listen, as I was saying, we're going to be at the village hall. We'll wait there for you. I think it's best if you just stay put and mind what Mrs. Graves tells you. We love you, darling. Bye. You finished? Right, grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. I am freaking out here. That's pretty. This looks like a picture. I have to take that. I have to take that picture. This is very, very pretty. My goodness, this game is pretty. something in the observatory with me. I can feel it reaching out to me. When it's close, I'm overcome with the most profound sense of loneliness.
Wendy, wake up. Eddie, is that you? No, it's me. It's Frank. Oh, Frank. Oh, the door was open. I didn't think Graham would mind. I'm sure he won't. What are you doing here? Looking for Stephen, but I just ran out of steam. And the door was open. Have you listened to the radio? I thought I heard him on the radio before. It's all over the valley. Don't you get that? This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No. We can't turn it away. What's he talking about? I don't know, Ken. But if he's on the radio, we can try and reach him on the CB. You go to Stephen's house, and if I get hold of him, I'll tell him to come and find you. I am freaking out here. Thing. Jesus! Come on, not now! Jesus, come on, you bastard! Start! Start, you bastard! Come on! Gah. It's your mother. Answer me. Stephen! What have you done, Stephen? Oh, Kate. There must be a logic. Response to me. It's alive. It's the only explanation. Stephen, where's Kate? Are you here? Stephen? 
I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. You can come out now. It's all gonna be all right. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. I'd love to continue, but I need to do some stuff. This is a good starting point for next week. So I'll do this again next week. This is a, is a great game. I want to I want to be fully engaged instead of having to think about something else. So I'll be back on tomorrow doing Minecraft Mondays. I hope to see you then. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.